Hi, I'm the number one hazard and I'm back with you on tutorials on Microsoft Visual Basic 2000 and Express Edition. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to enhance and improve and make your basic forms web browser and login forms advanced. So it'll all be customised and you can do it yourself as well. So I'm going to get stuck into this. I'm going to start off with the login form. So here we have the login form and it's all coded ready to use. I'm going to actually make it a lot bigger, well big enough, and I'm going to drag out the buttons somewhere else to make it all nice and equal. So I'm actually going to make these somewhat bigger. So there we are, and I'm going to drag this picture out, there we are, and I'm going to change the image. So for those of you who don't have the code for, um, or all of the coding for these different um, things that I've made, like the web browser, the login form, and the user interface, I will include all of the forms in the... Um, I'll include all of the forms in the description, all the codes I mean, and I will also include I'll also include all of the text files of my coding as well. So um you'll be able to download it off of my website which is www.hfproductionsprogramming.webs.com so, otherwise you can just get coding from anywhere else. So we've now done this, and we're now going to insert something else, so I'm just going to save. As you can see, the text up the top is different, so I'm going to change the text over in the properties. So I now have inserted some text and I'm now going to add in some thing else as well. So what I can insert, which is a different way of people would usually do this. Would be to insert a text box. You could also insert a rich text box if you wanted to. Um, it's up to you really, uh, they both do the same. Well the rich text box is more multi-line but that's why you go here and enable it. Makes the text area bigger for you to enhance and change the text in there. So I'm going to add in some text. So I'm now going to make it a little smaller, I'm going to align the text to the center and I'm also going to lock it and I'm also going to disable it so I'm going to go false which means no one will be able to change the text that's in there which is good. So that has now been inserted and we might as well change the floor colour as well to so something somewhat red which would look nice 
and so that's the nice little login form obviously you can change more it's up to you really um, I'm just going to make everything a certain red theme in the whole application make it look better um, it's really easy to do this I mean I've only got five minutes left of this tutorial so I'm just going to show you the basics of changing everything else as well so that's the login form so we've done that now so now form 3 is the user interface as you can see I'm just going to move this around here um, no actually I'm going to move it there okay so I'm going to insert a few things into this somewhat something like a let's see a calendar for instance so I could insert a calendar where is it Okay, it's not there. Aha, a month calendar, that's it. And so this will make it a bit more user interface alike. Um, so yeah, that's automatically coded. Obviously if you double click on it. Coding here, it's just a new private sub basically. Easy enough to code yourself. I mean it's just easy using the toolbox, that's what it's for. You can insert a mini web browser if you want not that hard really although I'm gonna I'll, I'll get stuck into the mini web browsers in my next tutorial so I'm just gonna get stuck into this user interface so I've now got my user interface and it's colorless absolutely colorless I'm also gonna add in a status strip just to be just to make it a little bit better so let's go a status strip I have to be quick here so that's going to include a status label progress bar and we're also going to insert a timer just because that's better so now we've got that and we're now going to insert a picture box this picture box is going to go here and don't mind that it covers over everything I'm going to change that I just like it to cover over a lot of things so I actually get the full dimension so right click and send to back we'll send it to the back obviously and I can either change the back color or the background image I'm going to insert a background image which will be my high definition widescreen paper. Yeah, you can keep it the way it is or you can make it better. I prefer right like this. Makes it look like a nice dark. Now if you want these to blend in, easy peasy click on the menu strip and you can change the back colour easily or you can change the background image I'm going to change the background image because it will look a lot more colour alike as you can see it looks a lot better so that actually blends in completely it, you can just see that it sort of does not a little bit but it does so as you can see the text is black you can easily change that by going items and going to here because the tool strip progress bar is the same is always going to has no text so control text uh, click web and change it to somewhat white or in fact you could change it to one of my favorite colors on here is medium medium spring green, that's right because it's a nice bright green color blends in as well what well, makes it stand out anyway so I have to be quick with this um so yeah so control text spring green spring green spring green spring green and spring green and the tools has not changed for some reason So I've actually come to an end of this part, I'll show you the next part soon, so bear with me, I will be back, thank you.